up guys? Welcome to the studio. I'm John the Potter. Great to have you here. So today we have a super exciting special video. I picked out my five favorite best glaze combinations and I filmed exactly how to glaze them. And they are all finished in here. So we're gonna unload this kiln and then I'm gonna show you exactly how I used some of Mako's glazes to get some of my favorite results. So pretty much all the glazes I use now, a few are not, but most of them are Mako. Uh, and Mako just came out with like 12 new combinations, which I'm excited to try those soon. So, all right, everything in this kiln will also be in our next restock. The April collection will be April 2nd. Sunday, April 2nd at 6 p.m., everything will go uh, live. So if you're interested in all of this, it's gonna be some of my best combinations, which is fun. I have a full dinnerware set in this combination. So that was just finishing up. These were a couple just uh, upside down mugs that I drip too much, and so then I flipped them upside down, fired them again. Turned out kind of cool, actually. There's a lot of that in here, this desert sunset, so I will definitely be showing you guys how I did that. Another thing I'm super excited about is these charcuterie, charcuterie boards. So it's completely flat, cheese board, you know? Serving tray thing. It's kind of fun, a little hole in there so you can actually grab it. I don't think those are gonna be in the restock this weekend because I'm not sure how to ship those yet. We're at like 150 degrees, so still a little warm to do without gloves. All right, so the Northern Lights is a little thick. Yeesh! I can show you how I glazed this. Obviously the glazes were way too thick. Raspberry Mist, Alabaster, and Norse Blue. Same combo right there, just not on a carved mug. All right, and then the next combo that I show you, Aurora Green over Bright Red. So basically Bright Red on the whole thing and then an Aurora Green overlapped on the outside. That has become one of my favorite combos. Selt has sold well. Wow, that is like, I haven't had a drip that bad in a while. I think the black is too thick. I think the metallic green is too thick. Look at that. That is like real bad. Okay, here. No, that's really nice. Dripped a little bit, but salvageable. Norse blue over copper ore. Also Norse blue over copper ore. That's really, love it. And then the best new combo, Desert Sunset. Whew, sweet. It's pretty epic. Pretty epic looking right there. Boom, love it. Look at that, how it's like kind of green up here with the orange and the copper. Wow, beauty. And it's just super consistent. Like it always is coming out really nice. Cool, 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 cool. All right, then I've got a bunch more Roar Green over Red. Wow, that's really nice. Really nice. Like my gloves, they don't work too well. Noise! 
Not quite as bad of a drip as was in the earlier one. Let's see, another one of these. Those are just pretty stunning. Wow, that's really interesting. Look at that. Raspberry Mist Alabaster and Norse Blue. Okay, so this is how I do my Insanity mugs, right? But sometimes it comes out just perfectly. Oftentimes with this glaze, I, there's pinholes, and so then I'll glaze it again and then flip it over and glaze it upside down, and that's what the Insanity is. But sometimes these ones just turn out really good by themselves, in which case I don't. But if I see any like pinholes or imperfections, then I'll reglaze it, put it back in the kiln. Okay, so I'll get the midnight rain and I'll do it right now. Because if I glaze it right now, then while they're still pretty warm, then the glaze will dry quickly. Bottom half in to overlap like that. So now the bottom is glazed. Like that. And then it's warm, so it should dry pretty quickly. And then I'll refire it upside down with a little stilt. All right, okay, then I'll pull out the, these next two. Pinhole, so it becomes an insanity and it's just like one little tiny pinhole. I just like those insanity mugs too. So then they'll get fired again, just like that. So there's three that'll become insanity mugs, two that are not. And then this one, it's really good. I don't see any, any issues at all with that one. All right, Woo! yes, look at that. Holy cow, that's so good. So, oh. Just so good. Love it, love it. Boom, coming out hot, no pun intended. The best. I probably have 12 to 15 of this glaze combo for sale in this restock, so. Whatever I had last restock was gone very quickly. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Roar green over red. Got a bunch of those. And a really popular combination. Funny part about this combination, I can't put it at the bottom of my kiln. The bottom shelf, it turns out different. But, so whenever I fire that glaze kiln, or that combination, I always make sure that it's on the next shelf up. It's funny how certain combinations work differently at different parts of the kiln. And I totally know it's because each part of the kiln is getting to slightly different temperatures. And like the airflow and stuff is different at different parts of the kiln. But that just comes with time. Like your own individual kiln is gonna react differently to certain things. So we got some Norse blue combos. Nice, that's beauty. Norse blue over sandstone with not much sandstone showing. Ah, uh, I got some more desert sunsets. Noise. Those are big. Those are like 20 some ounces. The desert. The desert sunset. Super happy with that combination. Super happy I found it. I love, especially for whatever reason, this is happening where it's matte. It's a matte finish here, so it's not glossy or shiny. And then you get this little section of glossiness you know especially when you you can see it 
on like these, you get that little section of glossiness, like where the indents are. And that is super cool, in my opinion. So you get the mixture in and then it's matte on top. So it's like a matte finish, glossy, and then matte. So you get that. Cool. All right. And then Norse Blue and Winter Wood. I had a few of these kind of testing them out in the restock last month. And they all sold really well, this Norse Blue and Winter Wood and then Norse Blue and Sandstone. Wow. Then we got a few more. Pink and Norse Blue. Three, oh, oh, oh. It's just so good. I gotta turn the, the camera doesn't pick it up. Just sweet. Norse Blue and Winter Wood. Beauty, full kiln, and it's all going up for sale. There we go. All right, there we go, there's the last two. Woo, all right, that was fun. So I showed you guys exactly how I glaze my best combos. If you wanna get any of these, they'll be in the April restock, April 2nd. We have some super exciting things coming. We are getting a gas kiln. Yeah, cone 10, reduction. We, uh, shout out to my, so I'm hiring, my intern that I've had the last few years, Kai, so Kai Brisk Pottery, he's worked for me the last few summers. He's graduating uh, in May and he's gonna come work full time in the studio with me. So he found a gas kiln in South Dakota for a very good deal. So we are going to go get the gas kiln in the next few months. We're gonna pour a concrete slab. We're gonna get a metal shed. Um, so we have some big things coming and I'm very excited to share the whole process with you. It's gonna be so fun. So, every, you know, all these glazes that I use for Mako, they can all go to Cone 10. Plus I have, you know, we could make glazes, we can do anything really. Um, it's just gonna be like everything we do, we can try it in the gas kiln, we can try new things in the gas kiln, we can try it reduction, we can try it not reduction, we can try mid-fire in the gas. Anyway, there's just a lot of fun things coming. And that's what I really foresee in the future is just like, we're just constantly experimenting all the time. It's gonna be sweet. So this year it's a gas kiln, maybe in three years it'll be a wood kiln. I think that's all. I think there's, once Kai starts with us full time, you know, it's just gonna be really fun. We're gonna have him start doing some editing of the videos. We're gonna have him start doing some of the content creation online, as well as helping me make pots, as well as we got some interesting stuff happening at the coffee shops too, with new locations and stuff. So he, uh, I don't quite know if he knows what he's getting, what he's signing up for, but it's gonna be a lot of stuff happening. Thank you guys for watching this video. Comment below if you have any questions about glazes or anything. Um, it was fun. Basically everything worked out in this kiln except for the Northern Lights. The, all the glazes are just too thick, like the black and the green and the buttercream are just all too thick. So that's what happens when they're too thick, but we'll get that sorted out and I'll be back with Northern Lights very soon. All right, hope you guys are doing well. See you guys in the next video.